Within just the last few hours, we've learned of additional damage reports in Missouri, most of them in St. Louis County. Five on your side's meteorologist Tracy Henson is live with the very latest on those surveys from the National Weather Service. Tracy, good evening. Good evening, Brent. So we learned just tonight of four more additional confirmed tornadoes. So they sent survey teams out. That's in addition to the Kirkwood storm that was reported last night. Now, in a matter of hours today, the National Weather Service surveyed Creefcore, Frontenac, St. Clair and Leslie for damage. The team came back with confirmed small scale tornadoes. So we look at tree damage, at home damage, building damage, and we have what are called damage indicators. Indicators vary. Using Kirkwood as an example, the field meteorologists look for. Do we have trees with limbs freshly snapped? Do we have trees with bark missing? Our homes damaged? Do we have roof damage, shingles gone, parts of the roof missing, our gutters torn off? This street in Kirkwood checked every box. Alexander Clark showed us around the neighborhood. All their gutters were ripped off in their backyard. Uh, two houses down, their fence came up because a tree came down and it looked like a tree just missed their window. A big chunk of the cleanup lands on the shoulders of Arborist. I think they've been here since about 10, 1030 maybe, so um, five hours. We're in the thick of storm season right now, so he'll be busy. I'll have a full day for the next few, few weeks probably. During the next round of storms, do what Alex's family did. The tornado sirens started going off and me and my dad rushed all the way to uh, the basement with the rest of our family and our dogs howling at the sirens and everything. Storm warnings can be frustrating for some, but acting on them is critical. It can be frustrating that you're not getting to watch your favorite show. I understand that, but it is somebody else's life and we want everyone to be safe. So understand that if your your show gets interrupted, that it's maybe someone else's worst day and that that's more important. Now that Kirkwood storm measured in at an EF zero, which had winds at between 65 and 85 miles per hour.